what was hoped to be an exciting act of patriotism quickly turned into a daunting confrontation with the Guatemalan Armed Forces, GAF. Leader of the Belize Territorial Volunteers, Will Mejia, led a group of 60 to erect the Belizean flag on Sarstoon Island. Much to their dismay, the GAF's battalion was waiting for them at the mouth of the river, preventing them from proceeding on what they claim is their land. Even before we reached the mouth of the Sarsoon River, we saw boats coming at us. The boats actually came into Belizean waters. And before we got to the mouth of the Sarsoon River, the boats then asked us for papers. Four of the boats that was with me slowed down when they, say, when they saw the Guatemalans coming. And when they approached my boat, I slowed down as well. And um, when I slowed down, they asked me for papers and I reminded them that they were inside Belize's waters and they can't ask for no papers. And they asked where I was going. I, was, I told them I was going to the Sarstoon Island. It's our Independence Day and we're going to raise our flag there as we usually do. Well, they, they said, well, today you are not allowed to go there. You're not going to go there. That's what, that is Guatemalan territory. And I insisted it's not Guatemalan territory. But there were five boats, all of them heavily armed. They had more than 50 armed soldiers on their boats. And um, we decided to push in. Mahia explained that they were firm on exercising their right, although they were blocked by the GAF's vessels. After about an hour of back and forth with the Guatemalan military, they were able to get past the boat and proceed to the island. They proudly sang the national anthem and raised the flag. We proceeded and all this time they were trying to cut us off, cut us off. I reminded them that we have young people on board that this could be dangerous and they can't be behaving like that. They're like, you are not going to that island today. That island belongs to Guatemala. I told them, no, the borderline. I explained to them where the borderline is at. It's on the other side of the island, the south side of the island, uh, mid, mid, midway on the Sarsoon River. And they're like, no, the entire river belongs to Guatemala. The Belize Defense Force, BDF, who were nearby, were alerted and joined the group on the island. Mejia says that they once again sung the national anthem, then departed. He added that as their boats drifted away, the GAF soldiers rushed to the island and seized Belize's flag and put it in their boat. When this was happening, all the Guatemalan boats kind of like hovered around us very close. And they were, you could see that they were disgusted because we made it to the island and we were singing our national anthem. So we sung our national anthem and hung out for a little bit. Then we decided to drift off. And as we drifted off, within seconds of us drifting off, they moved in on the flags and they start pulling down our flags. We insisted that they give our flags back. And they insisted no because our flags was planted on Guatemalan, in Guatemalan territory. Mahia says that while they were adamant on retrieving the flag, they were concerned about traveling through the rough waters with that many children on board. They were not able to get back the flag. The Ministry of National Defense and Border Security issued a release stating that the BDF and the National Coast Guard jointly continues to conduct regular patrols from Barranco Village to the Sarsoon Island and remains vigilant to ensure the territorial integrity and national sovereignty of Belize. Giovanna Mogel, Love News.